Hello and welcome to Epic Battle Cry. Woo! This is the place where we cut through the crap to bring you the real deal in the gaming industry today. I'm your host, Tony Grice, and with me, as always, Daniel Kaiser, Brent Adams. We are at the first of this new week. And, yeah. It is, uh, of course, September 8th. Mm. And damn, it feels We're, like a Monday, too. Jesus. It does. It really mm. does. Uh, but uh, to maybe... To help us get us through this uh, this 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 Monday, mm, uh, so Monday. we don't have a case of the Mondays any longer, we're going to go to Chuda Koopas. Chuda Koopas. Uh, Chuda Koopas. Uh, at Chuda Koopas. Uh, Chuda Koopas. <laughs> said, uh, at Epic Battle X. Would you like to have a new car? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of felt like that's where it was going for a minute. Come on, Dan. It did. It sort of felt that way. It did. Uh, but he asks, did Nintendo shoot itself in the foot again with the new 3DS? Mm. It's a new console in disguise. Eyes, alienating current 3DS users. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. What, what do you think? Not Brent, a robot where you? in disguise with like a shoulder-mounted missile pod or something. You know, <laughs> yes. that, could, that would be kind of cool. That would. Yeah. It certainly is a hot button topic. Uh, what? <laughs> what do you, Brent? What, what do you think? What do I think? Yeah. Um, you know, I uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna defer to Tony on this one because he's much more familiar with uh, the history of Nintendo handheld consoles than I am, but mm-hmm. I, I have to say that in reading over the initial thing, I, I didn't get the impression like, oh, this is a brand new 3DS and I must immediately go and sell mine and upgrade to this one as soon as possible. Oh, you just uh, didn't read the story right then. Not right? that it's available in North America anytime soon, right. but um, I, I, I didn't. I did not have the same reaction that Chuda Koopas did. I, I did not have that reaction of, oh, this is a brand new console that will invalidate uh, my my 3ds and uh, I think that there's some interest I, I think there's some interesting features that have been implemented in it probably the thing I'm most interested in is uh, the fact that they are now using uh, I, I guess they're using the camera the the, the front facing camera to mm. kind of track where your eyes are in relation to the screen in order to deliver that 3d effect a little bit more reliably which is one of the yeah. few complaints I have with uh, the current uh, 3DS XL that I have is that you just, I mean, you got to just be dead bang on. To, to, to call it a sweet spot is, is the it's yeah. pretty most generous. understated statement ever, yeah. basically. Uh, it, it, it's, pretty, uh, it's, it's pretty slim. So anyway, yeah. uh, that I, I'm very interested in. And truthfully, you know, depending on the price point and everything and like, you know, what I might be able to get from my 3DS second hand, when this thing comes out, it might be worth upgrading just to have that. But mm-hmm. uh, as far as the addition of the, uh, the other things, you know, they've got the they've got a C stick on it now, like the old GameCube controller, and it's got what two two new shoulder buttons, right? Yeah, yeah. two new trigger buttons. Just you know, don't really further inside. Yeah, than the, the don't old really care about buttons. those. Don't really care about the <laughs> NFC support for Amiibo. I, I, I doubt I'm going to be using that anytime. I, I mean, by the time I might potentially be doing something like that, I, I think I'd have another I, 3ds anyway. So anyway. The bottom line for me is that I, I I don't think that I don't think that there's anything here that makes this an instant buy for me or a lot mm-hmm. of other people other than just people who like oh I got to have the latest greatest thing but yeah. I don't see that there's anything here that like is going to make everybody run out and buy that and therefore I don't think that this is going to immediately eclipse the 3ds in the marketplace and therefore I don't think that they're going to stop making games for the 3ds and like suddenly everything is going to be exclusive to the new 3ds and yeah. and that's going to make my 3ds worthless I just I don't see that scenario happening personally. Mm-hmm. DK, I know you know th- those are, those all are you know new features, but also in, in a lot of ways those are features that aside from like you know the the way they're doing the 3D on the screen and whatnot, like you know the, the Circle Stick, you know you can you can buy the add-on Circle Stick, which essentially is going to do the same, or, or at least so far looks like the the C Stick is going just to replicate the functionality of the uh, of the Circle Pad Pro that they used to sell and, and things like that. The big news, I guess, is the CPU jump, like it's it's basically double the CPU power, yep. and so therefore they have announced a new Xeno Gears game yep. that is exclusive to this right. new platform. It will not play on the 3DS, and I guess that's why everybody yeah, is kind of supposedly up in arms. How, how do you feel about it? Like, what, where, where's your stance on it? That, that's exactly what I was going to. I mean, all the points that Brett made about the hardware itself are very valid. Although I do see, you know, a bit of a difference in that. You know, not not just because of the CPU, but also because of the controls. There will be some, ex- uh, you know, the, the added stick and then the controllers on the back, uh, the buttons on the back. Rather, there's going to be some experiences that just, you know, are are uh, not going to be 
uh, capable on the on. Well, last the controls year's. all can be. The controls all absolutely can be on on the current platform, just with with an additional hardware. I mean, you know. Right. Right. Yeah. But I mean, in terms of being Not able the CPU, to, though. yeah, it, yeah, you can't up, you can't overclock the CPU on the current model. Right exactly. Now. So for me, it does come down to a. I think it's. I think it's great that they're considering, you know, this device and what, you know, p- uh, jam packing it filled with everything that hardcore gamers are going to want. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't, it feels like a soft launch of a new version as opposed to the next 3DS. I mean, that, oh, it's not. It, let's, yeah, let's get this out. I, I, I it's agree. not a new, it's not a new platform. Everybody, yeah. I, I think, really. The, this is like the DSI. No, nobody seems to remember that the DSI had basically a, the same sort of bump in performance. Yeah. And in like the, you know, three years or, so, or two, whatever, how many years it was between the release of that platform and the 3DS, there was like six games that were exclusive to the DSi that you could only play on the DSi. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, you know, there's definitely another new handheld coming down the road that will be a Next. significant yeah. jump. But, you know, so this is kind of an inter, inter, uh, intermediate kind of intermediate step, step yeah. Well, and, that, and I think it's good. I mean, I think, you know, that gamers, uh, especially, you know, launching it with a hardcore 40 hour RPG is pretty, uh, pretty awesome if you're a, a core gamer. Um, and you know, it just it just speaks to what Nintendo is doing right now. They're 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 trying to find their way. They've got good things coming up, but in terms of their messaging, who their target audience is, they're kind of all over the place and really kind of. To me, I get the sense that they're you- trying a bunch of stuff to see what sticks after trying. Um, you know, after quite honestly trying to just replicate the success of the Wii with the Wii U, um, and yeah, but do you feel like that's the same that. way with their with their handhelds though? Like, I, I I totally I will totally give everybody the argument with that on the Wii U. Like the uh-huh. Wii U, they're trying to figure it out. I don't feel like they're trying to figure the 3DS out. I mean, it's been hugely successful after the first year, yeah. which they had basically just a pricing issue. It was just too expensive, and there weren't enough uh, you know weren't enough titles out for it yet. Right. Once they overcame that, which literally happened like in the first you know less than a year. I guess yeah um i mean they've been you know it's been smooth sailing ever since then so i mean are, are they really trying to reach for what they need out of this system like to me this is just it's a normal bump it's just it's a it, yeah. they, you know it's just the normal progression of the platform yeah no i totally see your point and 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 i agree that you know it is uh, I think just Nintendo as a company, things kind of can get get taken out of context or uh, the state of what they're trying to do, especially with the lack of success for the Wii U it kind of carries over into the perception. But the reality is that, the, like you're saying, that the 3DS has done well since they kind of, you know, evened out the road a little bit and figured out what consumers wanted in terms of price point and games. And now, you know, they're enhancing that as per their protocol and most hardware manufacturers in terms of delivering an enhanced version of a product. So this seems pretty standard. I think it'll be good um, for gamers looking for these types of experiences like Xenoblade Chronicles is going to offer. And I think that the 3DS platform, as I've said on previous iterations of our show, uh, is is great. I mean, the the 3DS is is fantastic. And some of my best gaming experiences in the last year or so have been on that uh, on that platform, so some I have of more my power only game them. experiences in the last year have been on that platform. <laughs> yeah, so I, more power to them, and and uh, I hope that it, it continues to maintain keeps people's interest in Nintendo and its IPs, and hopefully they'll have big things to talk about in 2015 with not only a new edition of of a handheld device, but more importantly for me, something more substantial with the Wii U and, and all the games that we're looking forward to that they'll deliver. Yeah, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't think a lot of people are so up in arms in this, and I really feel like it's, I, I feel like they're way, way taking a lot of, you know, leaps of logic that I don't necessarily know are going to happen. You know, some people are saying like, oh, well, you know, so now, you know, we're going to not get to play all these new games. They've announced one, one game. One game. Yeah. It's a remake of a old Wii title that has been out for years. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not it's not like they're announcing like the new Zelda, right. the new Mario exclusive game like. exclusive to this platform. Matter of fact, and, I and, dare and say Nintendo stupid to do something like that. Exactly. I dare say Nintendo will never release an exclusive title other than maybe like some smaller eShop type type of things. I could potentially see that sort of thing, but like a major release, they're not stupid enough to do that. And you know what that means is that none of the companies are going to be stupid enough to to alienate huge basis of their of their uh, of the platform of the 3ds especially since this isn't a generational leap like if this yeah. were legitimately like a completely new device that that really was a huge leap forward and you could truly say it was a new platform well then 
it would be a new platform. And frankly, we wouldn't have the same we wouldn't have these people saying like, oh, great, a new platform. They would say like, oh, great, a new platform. Like, hey, a whole new thing. But where this is just this like little incremental step, they somehow feel like, hey, this isn't enough to warrant me buying a new system, but I'm still pissed because I feel like there's going to be stuff on it that I want. Well, right. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Those are two. One, mm-hmm. I just don't really think either of those things are really going to happen. This is just the new model. If yours breaks that you have currently and you go out and buy a new one, it's eventually going to be this model. Right. If you... If you really want to play Xenoblade, you know Chronicles, you'll yes, you'll have to have this platform. But you know, you could probably pick it up for ten bucks on the Wii and play it now. If you, in the meantime, because it's not going to even come out in the states, I even have a, a slight wonder is if this isn't because this really is ge- geared towards the Japanese market. I, you know, where where you know it's just it's just like cell phones. I mean, people change cell yeah. phones every year or two. You know. I think that there's even a possibility that, like, if we don't see this, like, most people are thinking they'll probably be about this time or maybe, a, you know, earlier summer next year before we would even see it in the States. What's to say that Sony or that uh, Nintendo is not already working on the next platform? And the U.S. may just pass this one up right. and just go to the next generation. And, I, I'll, you know, because Nintendo of America especially has kind of been that way of, like, certain certain features that like you know maybe the japanese market has pushed they're kind of being like okay how much do we really think we're gonna get out of this maybe we should just focus on the next big thing right so i i think this is really much ado about nothing uh in in the long term they now, still need help naming that, their damn consoles though uh, new 3ds <laughs> doesn't really cut it for me he's got a point there yeah i mean i i still go back to the fact i mean you know people people don't make fun of the xbox one and i thought i really think that's a pretty stupid no- name for their system it's just a name it's just a moniker yeah after after the the initial shock of it after a month or you know yeah, or, you know whatever it comes out you've you've gotten used to it and you forgot about it uh, you know good good question though and i think it's definitely the kind of one of the bigger news stories of the week so yeah. uh uh Chutacupas, Chutacupas. very good question and uh thanks for sending that to us over on the old twitters and uh make sure if you have any questions for us for the rest of the week or next week or any weeks going forward that you send them over to <laughs> twitter.com slash uh epic, epic battle axe <laughs> and uh youtube.com slash epic battle axe yeah uh, yes thank you uh anyway so that does it for monday we will be back tomorrow Yay. with uh you know some other really interesting questions i hope i mean it could, could they could be terrible they could. i don't know we it's don't know yet we don't know they're not in front of us right now how would we know <laughs> how, how would, would we, we know? know it's not like we could see into the future <laughs> I wonder what Steve in Alaska is tomorrow. <laughs> Bastard just just broke the fourth wall to hell. <laughs>